What's going on, everyone? Like Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the New York Giants' second round selection that was actually at 43 overall. The New York Giants traded back twice in the second round of this year's draft. And as a fan, I'm really happy about that. I love um, trade backs, I love getting um, extra selections. Um, and both. Uh, the extra picks that the Giants got were for this year's draft. They traded twice um, back. Starting off with the first trade back, um, the Giants traded back from 36 to 38. So just moved back two spots, and they received a fifth-round pick that's going to be 146 in tomorrow's fifth round. So day three, that pick, or that trade rather, was with the Jets. They moved up to get their running back. That's a good trade there for the Giants. And then next... At 38, with that 38th pick, we traded to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, they got the edge rusher, Ed, Edzuike, or I don't know how, to, how exactly to pronounce his name, but they got him there. The Giants got 43, and then a fourth-round pick, 114. So the Giants got a fourth and a fifth-round pick to move back seven spots and take the Kentucky wide receiver, Wandale Robinson. He's listed 5'9", 180 pounds um, he's 21 years of age, um, so the Giants look like they got a good player here um, in Wandell Robinson. Um, he, I mean, I would have preferred another wide receiver personally, but um, I mean, how could you go against that? As a Giants fan, I'm I'm good with it. Um, I don't think that the wide receiver uh, and and sort of the playmaking positions are going to be uh, selections um, that you know, Joe Shane really pushed for. I think it's going to more so be Brian Dable picks because he is, of course, an offensive-minded head coach. Mike Kafka might have a little bit of say there, but obviously Brian Dable is going to make some nice plays and, and a good playbook for these receivers that he thinks uh, can really thrive in this system. So um, I'm going to trust what the Giants are doing. I don't mind him at all. When you take a look at some of his tape, he looks like a terrific player. He didn't play great in his first two seasons when he was at Nebraska, but when he moved, or that was in the Big Ten, but when he moved to the SEC at Kentucky, where he later became a star, uh, he had bowl stats. He was probably the best receiver. I think he was the best receiver uh, in the SEC. So um, let's take a look at his stats last year, you know, because the year before wasn't great. Um, I guess we could go over it. He had uh, about 900, over 900 uh, receiving yards in 18 games, and he had 91 receptions in those first two seasons, of course, at Nebraska. So um, you can you take that for what you will, obviously. But uh, they did use him a lot in the rushing game. This is a receiver that's a lot like Kadarius Tony, though. I do have to say. Now taking a look at his stats in the 13 games he played for Kentucky in 2021 where he had bowl stats, 104 receptions for 1,334 yards. So terrific stats there. He had seven total touchdowns. Um, they were all receiving touchdowns. He had seven rushing attempts for 111 yards. That's 15.9 per uh, uh, attempt. So that's very good stats. And... By the way, I forgot to mention, he only had three receiving touchdowns in his first two years in Nebraska, but overall, um, he had seven touchdowns, so he had four uh, rushing touchdowns, um, and like I said, a lot of people compare him to Kadarius Tony, and the type of wide receiver he is, explosive, playmaker, that's what the Giants saw in him, that's what that's really what they saw in him, um, and like I said, I think these wide receiver picks, and picks at the playmaker position, I think are more so... Uh, I think they're more so Brian Dayball picks more so than Joe Shane picks um, for the reasons I listed. But uh, I would have preferred Sky more. But like I said, I'm going to trust this. I think these are going to be good picks. The Giants did uh, – Joe Shane did say right after that he is not shopping Kadarius Tony. So that – I knew that news was smoke. That's why I didn't even make a video on it. Pat Leonard's ridiculous. So don't really listen to the, you know, stuff that seems sketchy that he says. So that's clearly – not going to happen, but a guy that, you know, you could expect to maybe get traded, or at least the Giants look to trade, Darius Slayton. Keep an eye out on that name, but Wandale Robinson, he's going to be a good player for the Giants. Um, expect him to be really used in a variety of different ways. Um, he's from Kentucky. 
Uh, that's where he went to school last year, so uh, he, he kind of stayed local for his last year um, of college. But expect them to use uh, Wandell more plenty in the rushing game, in the special teams. He's a very flexible uh, guy who could do a lot. He's very versatile, like a lot of the players on this roster, and that's a good thing to have um, on a football team. So I personally, I like to pick. I watch some, you know, of his film and, and tape and highlights. Wondell Robinson looks like a great receiver that the Giants got at 43. Oh, and not to mention, they got a fourth and fifth round pick for tomorrow. So that's very good. Um, and as a New York Giant fan, I'm very happy. But guys, that's all I got in this video. You guys, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on the selection at 43 overall. I like it. You guys, let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys knew. I've been making a ton of videos. So subscribe to stay posted and keep up with the news. Uh, I really appreciate every new subscriber. Make tons of videos. New York Giants. Toronto Raptors, Toronto Maple Leafs, Toronto Blue Jays. So please like, please subscribe, stay tuned. And as always, let's go Giants.